When you think about the stock market, you will find that it is never a dull moment. So many people are now looking to the stock market to make a living, with most of them becoming full-time traders. Can the stock market, however, be manipulated? There are a lot of factors that will lead to the rise and fall of prices in the stock market. The notion that it may be manipulated by a single person, however, is strange. Although it seems to only occur in Hollywood films, it has actually happened. There was a time when the stock market was manipulated by one man, resulting in a $1 trillion loss for the market. But how is this possible? Hello everyone and welcome back to Finance Blitz, giving you the best in finance. Today, we will look at the story of Navinder Singh Sarau, the man who caused one of the greatest flash crashes in the stock market. But before we go any further, just take a minute to leave a like and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on the best finance stories and news. And with that, how did Navinda single-handedly cause the market to crash? May 6, 2010 was just a normal, regular day, and it was business as usual. Or rather, it was until the unexpected happened. It was around 2.32 p.m. when the US stock market started to fall. When the crash started, nobody knew that it was going to be worse. People actually thought it was just an ordinary slide. However, when things started getting worse and worse, the entire market began to give in the fall. Every stock in the market started seeing its value fall at such a high speed that nobody saw it coming. This event is referred to as a flash crash. And even though it only lasted for 15 minutes, the total loss that arose from this crash was about a trillion dollars. As expected, there was a lot of confusion among the people and investors, as nobody could really tell what had just happened. Some of them even tried switching on the TV to find out what was going on, but even the anchors were as clueless as they were. Everyone was in disbelief apart from one man, who was somewhere in the suburbs of London. Navinder Singh Sarau was actually smiling because things were good for him, but it was soon to be discovered that he was the mastermind behind the flash crash. In some ways, Navinder managed to cause 15 minutes of nothing but chaos in the US stock market from his home in London. Even he couldn't believe that he was able to pull it off. But who is Navinder and how exactly did he pull it off? Well, Navinder was just a regular guy with an interest in being a stock market trader. So, because of this, he was able to learn how to do it. He would mostly work from a bedroom in his parents' home in West London. But even though Navinda was a smart guy, he was suffering from Asperger's syndrome. Because of this, he could not lead a normal life. But it did come with some benefits, such as being able to sit for hours and hours just focusing on one task. And he always made sure that it was done. He got into the stock market journey after he graduated. This was after he saw an ad in the newspaper that said, Wanted Future Traders must work well under pressure. This was the kind of job that fascinated him. So, he applied for the job, got called for an interview, and later got selected. Within a few years of working, Navinder was already a legend at work. Not many people understood him, and they saw his behavior as odd. Furthermore, for him to get maximum concentration, he would isolate himself from other people, and he would always wear headphones to block the surrounding noise. Since he was able to fully concentrate on his task, he managed to become a legend to everyone else. He would go ahead and manage massive trades and generate some pretty impressive returns. After a few years of working, he decided to leave. And so, in 2008, Navinda left the company when he was in his late 20s. By this time, he had already managed to accumulate about $2 million. The time he was leaving was also the time the stock market crash was ongoing. This crash has caused panic everywhere causing all big institutions to dump their stocks. But with the crash, Navinda saw an opportunity. When everyone was selling their stocks and securities, Navinda did the complete opposite. In fact, he decided to put all his money on the table and just hope that the government would eventually intervene and the prices would rise back up. We can say that his timing was nothing but perfect. This is because he placed all his money on a trade on Friday. And then on Monday, the US government announced that they had a big package. Because of this, all the prices rose by an incredible 19%. And Navinda was one of the people who benefited from this. Within a span of one week, Navinda had already converted his $2 million to $15 million. One interesting thing about Navinda is that no matter how much money he made, he did not spend any of it. He was just living a normal life, and not even his parents or friends knew that he had so much money. Furthermore, his fascination with the stock markets was that of a child playing video games. However, things changed when he realized that his profits were being taken away by high-frequency traders. These were basically some of the larger institutions. 
This frustrated Navinda, and he realized that the only way to win this game was by defeating them with their own game. This was when he decided to change his tactics. He would spend a lot of time on algorithms, as he improvised. It eventually got to a point where he would make about half a million dollars a day. However, this was the day before the flash crash. On one day, he made about $400,000 before making $800,000 the following day. This was about three times the value of his parents' house, which was valued at about $300,000. Fast forward to May 6th, 2010. It was business as usual for Navinda that morning. He would pump up all the sell orders in a very critical market. By the time it was afternoon, he had already placed about $200 million worth of orders. As he did this, he was also making his money. At around 1.40 p.m. US time, Navinda decided to switch off his computer. By this time, he had already made about $900,000. But this was the same time when the flash crash happened. The flash crash was very devastating to the US stock market. The market itself counted trillions of dollars in losses as the companies in the stock market saw their values drop drastically. However, it only lasted for 15 minutes before the market was finally back up. This was the biggest sudden fall in the history of the stock market. Such a crash will obviously get the attention of the regulators, and investigations into what happened had already started. After the next few months, there was a deep dive into what really happened on that day. US regulators spent weeks just trying to find out what was going on. They even came up with a detailed report as to why they thought the crash happened. But through all this, there was never any mention of Navinder. When nothing was found, Navinder was happy because he was now sure that it would not be traced back to him. So he continued doing what he always did, and that was trading in the stock market. However, things took a turn when a day trader working in a small firm in Chicago decided to backtest his software. During this time, the trader discovered an unusual pattern on the day of the flash crash. He noticed that there were some huge blocks of orders that did not make any sense whatsoever. As any good trader would do, he alerted the authorities at the Commodities Futures Trading Commission CFTC, of the US. This is when they finally noticed what Navinda had done. This prompted them to take a deeper look at Navinda's activities, and they found that they were quite odd. He would place some huge orders, but none of them were really executed. The orders were always there, and when the price of the markets came to the price of the orders, they were either modified or cancelled. Eventually, the US prosecutors came to the conclusion that Navinda was engaged in some sort of illegal trading practice. This practice, which is now referred to as spoofing, works in that traders flood the markets with a lot of big orders without the intention of actually going through with them. When the price comes close to the price of these orders, they are immediately cancelled. It primarily aims to increase or decrease security for a short period of time. Basically, it is like manipulating the market. So, Navinda was able to spoof the market and single-handedly drive the market down. He triggered a massive crash with these orders, and he even managed to trick other algorithms, which are the ones that actually changed the real momentum of the market. After an intensive investigation five years later, Navinda was finally taken into custody from his home in West London in February 2015. When half a dozen police officers appeared at his door, he actually asked them whether he could go back and record a game that he would come and watch after he got back. He had no idea what kind of trouble he was in until he was taken to court. Eventually, it was discovered that he faced approximately 22 criminal counts, totaling 380 years in prison. An interesting fact is that he had already lost all his money which is estimated to be about $40 million to fraudsters. This was discovered after he was told to post bail and he couldn't. It doesn't make sense how such a smart guy can lose all that money. Eventually, during his trial, he was able to get himself off the hook when he agreed to help investigators find other fraudsters like him. Eventually, he was able to get himself grounded at his home under house arrest, but this was after he spent four months in prison. What do you think of Navinda Singh Sarau's story? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Also, before you go, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.